Hey, this is Chef Omega. Did you ever have to replace a temperature sensor but just wasn't sure whether it was a thermocouple, an RTD, or a thermistor? Well, stick around because we're gonna break it down for you right here. There's a lot of information out there about the differences between a thermocouple, an RTD, and a thermistor. But how can you tell the difference when all you have is one sensor and you're not sure what it is? Well, let's look at some key characteristics that'll help you identify each type of sensor. First, let's look at thermocouples. They usually come in a two-wire construction or a three-wire if there's a ground or shielding wire. They have a very low resistance compared to RTDs and thermistors, and some wires can actually be magnetic depending on the type of TC. RTDs can come in a two, three, or even a four-wire construction. They have higher resistance compared to thermocouples and a lower resistance compared to thermistors. Resistance value of zero across a pair of wires in a three or four-wire construction. Finally, thermistors. They usually come in a two-wire construction, unless they're linear where they'll have three wires. They have a higher resistance compared to RTDs and thermocouples and are generally used in lower temperature applications compared to thermocouples and RTDs. With these points in mind, we can use a process of elimination to figure out what's what. Now here's our first mystery sensor. Okay, this is a metallic sheath probe with a long insulated cable and a two-wire construction. One wire is colored with a red insulation, another wire is colored with a yellow insulation. If I check my thermocouple color code chart, a K-type thermocouple has a yellow and a red insulation. We might have a thermocouple here, but let's dig deeper. For that, I'm gonna use my multimeter and put the setting on ohms. For our thermocouple, we should have a very, very low resistance. So I'm gonna take my negative lead, that on the red wire, my positive lead on the yellow, and we're getting about three ohms. So this here is a thermocouple. And now let's move on to mystery sensor number two. It has a metal sheath, a cable, and has a two wire construction. One with a black insulation and one with a red insulation. Doesn't seem to match up with anything on a thermocouple chart. So let's dig a little deeper. So I'm gonna take my ohm meter here and we're checking for resistance, 3.023 kilo ohms. I think we have a thermistor here because an RTD doesn't have a resistance nearly this high. Now onto the mystery sensor number three. This probe has a metallic sheath, no transition joint, but it does have a cable on the end and has a three wire construction. So for this, I'm gonna take my own meter, take the positive lead and connect it to this red peg. And I'm gonna take the black lead and connect it to the white lead here. I'm reading about 110 ohms. I'm thinking this is an RTD because the thermistor doesn't have resistance nearly this low. Now, if this is an RTD, Across two pairs of wires, you're gonna read a zero ohm resistance. So I'm gonna take my negative lead and move it over to the other wire, and I'm reading 0.6 ohms, which is pretty much next to zero. This is fair to say, this is a free wire RTD. So there you have it. If you have more questions, give us a call or chat with us live on omega.com.